They'd stood like this on her father's terrace the night they'd met, Isabella against the wall, Mac's hand splayed on the bricks beside her. Isabella had been eighteen then, her dress virgin white, her only adornment a necklace of pearls, a pure, untouchable maiden with glorious hair, a ripe plum ready to be plucked. The temptation to touch her had been irresistible. The wager Mac had agreed to that night had been simple. Enter the overly priggish Earl Scranton's house without invitation, dance with the prim and proper debutante in whose honour the ball was being held, and entice her to kiss him. Mac had expected to find a stick-thin maiden with a prissy mouth and irritating mannerisms. Instead, he'd found Isabella. It had been like discovering a butterfly among colourless moths. The instant Mac had seen Isabella, he'd wanted to know her, to talk to her, to learn everything about her. He remembered how she'd watched him push through the crowded ballroom toward her, her chin lifted, her green eyes daring him to do his worst. Her friends had whispered behind her, no doubt warning her who he was, hoping to watch her rebuff the scandalous Lord Roland Mac Mackenzie. Isabella, Mac had come to know, was quite good at the rebuff. He'd stopped before her, and without saying a word, Isabella had taken his breath away. Her hair spilled over her shoulder in a river of red, her eyes glinted with cool intelligence, and he'd wanted her. To dance with her, to paint her, to make love to her. Come, sweetheart, sin with me. Mac had grabbed the nearest male acquaintance and forced the man to introduce them, knowing that this perfectly raised young lady would refuse to speak to him at all until then. When Mac had held out his hand and asked the conventional question, My lady, may I have this waltz? She'd given him a cool look and lifted her wrist to show him her dance card dangling from it. What a pity, she'd said. My card is full. Of course it was. She was a well-protected debutante, the oldest daughter of Earl Scranton, an advantageous catch. One of her father's hand-picked gentlemen would even now be pushing his way through to her, hurrying to claim his waltz. Mac had caught the card in his hand, removed a pencil from his pocket, and slashed a heavy diagonal line through all the names. Across this line he wrote in his careless scrawl, Mac Mackenzie. He dropped the card and held out his hand. Come dance with me, Lady Isabella, he'd said. I dare you. He had expected her to freeze him with a cutting dismissal. She'd walk away, her nose in the air, seek her father's footman, and instruct them to throw the blackguard out. Instead, she'd placed her hand in his. They'd eloped that very night.